What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Bill and today's video should be a pretty quick one. Uh, I have an issue which a lot of Bronco people have. It's not only Broncos, it's pretty much any vehicle that has a very flat windshield like the Bronco. I know Jeeps had the issue. I had issue with the FJ um, and that is rock chips. Now, luckily, this one is just a little chip. I don't know how well that shows on the camera. Uh, just a little chip. It's It hasn't started to expand or anything too bad yet. So uh, we're going to try to fill that. And uh, we're going to try this Rain-X windshield repair kit. Uh, in theory, it works similarly to how... Like if you call Safe Light or some other windshield repair place, it work obviously their kits are going to be a bit more uh, professional, but supposedly this works similarly. We'll find out. Hopefully, it's a uh, it works. Now it's supposed to apply in the shade and then let it set. So hopefully, I'm timing this right to where the sun. Once we get this done. The sun will be pretty much over here anyway. Open up our kit and see what all's inside. Some instructions. This little applicator. And then the resin fill. There should be some little plastic sheets made there in here. Because there should be an included razor blade. Oh, there is an included razor blade. So it actually has everything you need in the kit. All right, so we've got a clean surface. We want to center. this on there then we're going to screw the top of this should be the hole in the center of this should be right on top of our point of impact so it should be centered right on top of there which it looks like it is All right, and then we could double check inside so Looking from the inside, it looks like we're centered right over top of that. Next, we need to cut the top of this off. And it says to do three to six drops of this. So, three, four, five, six. And then we need to screw this in. And this is going to push those drops in. to the cracks it says to screw it almost until it's almost all the way in now all we got to do is just sit and wait it says wait four to six minutes um and you could see that make sure everything's being filled if it's not filling in all the cracks it says go ahead and heat the from the inside of the windshield but it looks like it's filling everything i could see one little crack so that's still there all right, so now everything's done. Should be able to back this up. And there's little tabs you need to pull up. And Now, last step is take these strips and just put a little drop right on the there. Um, now, now we're supposed to go ahead and let that sit in the sunlight. We have to do peel this off. Yeah. 
And we need to scrape any excess off. Which we will do with the razor blade. It says to keep it at 90 and just kind of... You're not supposed to do what I'm doing, which is cut across, because then you might actually peel anything out. Just go. So I can see I still have a little divot there. I didn't quite fill that in perfectly. I think all the other cracks and everything are good. Just there's a, still a little bit of a divot right there. Well, we got another. Which I didn't do a great job of applying this the first time. That looks much better. So we'll try that one more time. And hopefully it'll fill that. So we'll wait another five, ten minutes. Alright, so and that looks better. Again. Supposed to keep the blade 90. I got a lot of resin away from that. So just gonna shave down a little bit of that till I get closer. Might have overdone the resin a little bit. Okay. Now just kinda Yeah, I could see a little dot there where it is if I'm looking for it. And I could see like a couple little air pockets in there that didn't get fully filled. But for the most part, I would say that's good. Now, and you have to really, I don't know. I will. We'll check it out from the inside too. But yeah, um, very happy with that. It's noticeable if you know what to look for. Overall, though, I mean, it's nice and smooth feeling, and hopefully that holds. As you can see, the. Uh, Cat Distribution Center, I believe, is nearby because it's constantly leaving new creatures here. But uh, I, I could sort of, I, I could see it a little bit better from the inside than I could from the outside. But yeah, um, as long as it holds, that's what I'm worried about. I just don't want it spreading. So it looks better. It's not 100% and that could probably be on my technique. I'm sure if I did enough of these, there's like 10 of those little plastic sheets in there. So I don't know if that means you're supposed to be able to get 10 applications out of that kit. Um, but from like I did a little bit of research, not a ton. Uh, check out Project Farm YouTube channel. I don't know uh, if you're familiar with them. He does really great in-depth uh, testing of different things. This is one of the things he tested in that Rain-X kit was uh, one of the better performing ones that he recommended. So that's why I ended up going with that kit. But yeah, it seems like you get multiple uses out of it. Yeah, I know the last time I did a windshield repair kit, it had like a small drill bit and you had to actually drill through the windshield and do a whole bunch of stuff and... Uh, that didn't work so well. In comparison, this was super simple to use. Um, you get multiple uses out of it. 
hopefully it holds up i'll let you know if it starts to spread or anything like that but i'll go ahead and put a link down in the description to this kit i also put a link to the project farm video i said uh no association with them or anything but uh, he does really great in-depth reviews of things and you know this was one of the things that's like oh i need a kit and i watched his video to decide which one to even try out and so happy with the results and uh hopefully that helps you unfortunately with having the front nearly vertical and flat windshield it's something that we're as long as you have a bronco or if you have a jeep or if you have an fj cruiser or if you have any car that's got similarly shaped any brick shaped car it's uh, a potential hazard that you're going to have yeah i mean you can do there are windshield armor that you could put on it's like basically like ppf like a really clear ppf film that you could put on the outside which we did uh an install on jeremy's bronco i don't know if i ever posted that video or if they even have that video. I know we recorded us installing that on Jeremy's Bronco, but I don't know if we ever posted a video about that or not. So uh, maybe that'll be a follow-up to, to show that that's also a potential to protect your windshield. But if you're like me and you finally end up getting a little crack, I would recommend doing this whatever you can to fill it. I know in the past I've just used clear fingernail polish to kind of fill it. It's not great, but it does help prevent it from spreading. I think this is a little bit better of a solution. Yeah, anyway, like I said, a short video. At least I feel like it's been a short video. Maybe not. We'll see when I once I edit it. But I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. Let me know. Uh, leave a comment down below if you have a dip better solution or anything that you've done for your cracked windshield and if you want to see more videos like this in the future be sure to hit the subscribe button hit the bell notification so you're notified when we do upload new videos and i'll see you next time